It's Brian Preston, the money guy. This next one is from Adam. He says, question, I've maxed out my 401k this year. This is early in the year, so good for you. I hope you did not miss any match. Brian, speak to that. Uh, (laughs) Next, I've been told by my CPA that I cannot contribute to a traditional or Roth IRA. What else can I do for saving for retirement? Now, I imagine that what a CPA said was, you can't do a deductible traditional IRA contribution, and you're over the income limit for Roth, is what I think his CPA probably told him. Uh, So question, does that mean that he can't actually contribute to a traditional, or could he potentially? Uh, And two, if he's exhausted all of his retirement options, well, what are some other places we could build wealth? Where else could we begin to think about plowing money? And might there be something he could use to guide him on his path? You basically answered the question, but I'll I'll connect the dots. No, I just was asking a question. You did good. You put out the the points. Um, Early funding. By the way, this is something I'm going to go ahead and just make some assumptions here, too, based upon the way the question was asked. If you've already maxed out your 401k, um, and we hadn't even reached the halfway point in the year. You're probably in a pretty good, got a pretty good shovel, <laughs> meaning you have good a good shovel, income yep. source. Um, I will tell you a word of caution. Make sure your plan design allows you to get continue to receive matching contributions when you early fund. We have seen this number of times. Mm-hmm. Um, I've even run into that even with our own 401k. And so this is something to, to pay attention to. Some plans, if you fund early, let's just say by June 30th, you might not be getting matching money on the rest of the That's year right. because you didn't have any contributions going in for them to provide matching to. to. The, the formula didn't work. So just be very aware of that. Make sure you're not getting um, pulled out of maximizing the, the, the employer money or that free money from your employer. If that freaks, if, if what you just heard Brian say freaks out, the word you want to use is true up. You want to go uh, write your HR department and ask him, does our uh, – our 401k retirement plan have a true up provision in it that if I fund early, I'll still get that employer matching through the remaining payroll cycles. Great. Glad to put the terminology in That way you sound fancy. No, I, no the seriously. The, the fancy language is what's going to probably mm-hmm. kick this thing over the top. It was, yep. it was good. But the other thing is backdoor, because um, I know that's the other breadcrumbs Bo was laying out, is that somebody who funds their, their 401k fully um, by, you know, by, by, by before we even reach June 30th, you probably have a good income. So your CPA is talking about the fact that you don't qualify for a deductible IRA. You make too much money to do a Roth IRA mm-hmm. traditionally, you know, th- through normal means. But if you don't have any other IRA assets, you don't have simple IRAs, you don't have SEP IRAs, you don't have a rollover IRA, you can't have an inherited IRA. I'll give you that one. But if you don't have any other IRAs, you might qualify for what's called a backdoor Roth conversion strategy, meaning that you could actually fund your traditional IRA. You don't get a tax deduction, Mm -hmm. no benefit from a tax standpoint there, but then later you can convert because there's no income thresholds on converting traditional IRAs into Roth IRAs. So that is a potential way Mm -hmm. that you want to, you know, talk to to your investment team, your your CPA, make sure they're comfortable with it. But that's an alternative source of, of funding. And then, of course, if, if you determine, if you're looking at your three buckets, you got your tax-free, which we know is we love Roth mm-hmm. assets because they're tax-free. Favorite child. You got your tax-deferred, which is your free money from your employer. Plus, if you're in a high-income situation, maybe you're, you're, you're doing that because you're worried tax rates very high right now. And you think when you retire, they might actually be lower because you can control your taxes. Um, but there's another one. There's the the after tax, which is your just taxable brokerage account. You can buy into those. You can invest in that every month, and that's actually that third ba- bucket. So if you're part of FIRE, or if you want access to liquidity, or if you want to donate to charities, appreciated holdings, that after tax is going to be really a very powerful bucket, and it's something that you can consider. Yeah, if you want some uh, some. A reminder along the way, go to moneyguide.com slash resources, download our free food deliverable. You can actually walk, and it kind of walks you through everything Brian just said, step one, step two, step three, step four, all the way through to make sure you're filling up your buckets in the right order. But you're in a great spot. Saving a lot and saving early is great. Just make sure you're not missing out on anything there.